to the shadows guys my name is phantom and today we are going to be jumping back into firewatch and continuing where we are investigating strange noises near the canyon um which i believe we are headed toward um thundermore i don't exactly where's my journal i can figure that out um but last time we discovered that somebody was listening to our conversations um which is not good that's very strange and weird um so we're going to be investigating the strange noise here. Maybe figuring out who exactly is listening to our conversation. I don't exactly know. Um, but yeah, we're going to be heading towards the canyon. And I'm trying to remember which canyon we are heading to. I'm guessing we're heading to Thunder Canyon. So I guess I'm going to head over that way. Um, and see what we got going on there. Oh, what is this? Oh! I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. So, definitely this way. Shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. I mean, the antenna. Oh! What just hit me? Are you there? Oh, yeah, something just knocked me out. God, we're not even a minute into this, and we've already been... I just, I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I would love to know the answer know. to that. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed oh, me. Oh, so alive. the person that... I don't... What Lovely. What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? Wapiti? I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll yeah, but I gotta get across the water. Damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what? what you saw henry maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you why would campers just come back and look i know what i saw sucker it punch me our words with initials for our names H i'm gonna open this cache unless i've already opened it oh no i haven't i feel fine okay possibly concussed okay, but you know you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago yeah that's why it's creepy <laughs> <laughs> to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago. Or right now. Relationship. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so if they let me out here for a while, who's to say their budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what went down and what... Oh, speaking of, uh, Sheriff isn't too pleasing, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and professionales is Italian. Okay. Friendship are... Our whole summer... Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. Yeah, and they're listening in on our conversations. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? <sighs> Alright, we're gonna come out. Notes, which is um, fucking believable. Yeah, I wanna go up to the right. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. Oh. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Oh, I need to go up here. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Sure. Okay. Hike safe. Uh, we'll try. <laughs> I've just been punched in the face, so, you know. Yeah, this is where I need to go. Alright. This, this place gets weirder and weirder and more unsafe, and I sit here and wonder why I'm here. It's like, oh, you came here as a summer getaway to get away from what's happening with your wife, because he's got a lot on his mind. Yet, there's just more chaos here. Like, what's the point? I don't understand. Anyway, set up to Wapiti. See what chaos lies in store for me here. Oh, it could be just about anything. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Oh, we got a fence. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, Why is there a fence here? Yeah. How big? Um, it goes off in both directions. Acres. Yeah, it looks like it fences the whole thing off. What the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. 
Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but yeah, that's, that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. Yeah, no, this is like. See what you can do to get past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. No, nope, they didn't leave it unlocked. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Yeah. Oh, Maybe you stand. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. The loose stone didn't even do it. I'm gonna be able to get into this place. I mean, oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. Right. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Well, I'm not a firefighter. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where what controlled that? burn? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Well, seeing as we haven't actually met anybody yet, I, I'm not. I'm not too sure. Ruby River. Look for controlled burns south of Ruby River. Well, that's all the way over there. How in God's name do I get there? That's like the complete other end of the map. All right, well, let's go back then. I don't know what the fuck I get all the way over there. That's gonna be a trek and a half. I mean, this this is burned, so we're gonna have to go back up the way we came, um, past the river, and see what we got going on there. The Lila's probably gonna engage in casual conversation with us as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Um. Anyway, so within the span of like five to ten minutes. We've managed to get knocked out in the head, had things stolen from us, um, and now we're trying to go find a scout camp. What is wrong with this place? What is going on? <laughs> I guess we're gonna head across Thunder Canyon then. Make our way down to Ruby River. But yeah, I don't think there's gonna be any scouts here. Let me see. If I go this way, go to my lookout. I guess I can go south. Yeah, I can go south around the lookout and then head that way. That's probably my best bet. But what chaos lies in store for me on the way back, though? One can only guess. Um, let's see here. Uh, is there anything you want to talk about? You were talking my ear off in the last episode. She's not talking my ear off in this one, which is concerning me a bit. Maybe she's trying to- oh, she's trying to talk to video people, that's right. Trying to video people and figure out if anything suspicious or spooky has happened to them. Um... Knowing Henry's luck, probably not. Um... Hey, I oh. Around. Things seem yep. normal with everyone else. <laughs> Speaking of... Why well, am I not surprised? Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um... Don't you think that would sound, you know... The whole situation crazy? is crazy, though. Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come oh, back Oh, my here. goodness. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Oh yeah, we will. I'm trying to figure out the best... The best way to do that. Um... Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? What are you trying to say, Henry? <sighs> maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Oh, yeah, just keep hiking. Whatever you say. <laughs> like, everything's normal. Nothing about this place is normal. Nothing. 
We've been stalked. We've been knocked out. We've had people. We found. We found a clipboard recording our con. You think? I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. Who are they? It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. I would be scared too. He had us down to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. I don't even know who this dude is. Huh? The June fire. Oh, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at a stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, south of here, had to catch 307. At least we'll get to go down to the June fire, maybe. Get a closer look at it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, where's a way down from here? Over here? Is this the way down? Yeah, this seems to be the way down. Oh yeah, this is definitely, definitely the way down. We go down here. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll take a swipe to the Ruby River. Coolio. Nice pathway. I didn't know how I didn't see this before. And then there's Cash 307, so that'll give us a path across the water. Once we get across the water, give us a pathway. Yeah, no, there's, there's all the trees when we watched it in the last episode. It's just, who, who needs to jump when we can just, like, skirt across the water? <laughs> One. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Two. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Three. And four. There we go. There we go. Copy information. We got another note. Uh, let me open up this note and read this. Ron, really wish the powers that be... That bee could issue us radios that didn't suck A. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that. I took the job, so I went and had to deal with her mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while, not thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Pfeiffer's instead. Miss you, Dave. I still don't know who... Ron and Dave are exactly. But anyway, let's see. So we do this. Yeah, we can go down to the creek over to the right and find the scout camp. Okay. <clears throat> Recent I burn. They did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. He has to say, I don't want to get burned. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn? Oh, what the heck? Control? Someone gets fired. Why is there a snowmobile? Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this yeah, shit is. Yeah, um, me. why is there a wrecked snowmobile? snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped Am it. Am I being watched as I look at this? Not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. That's weird. Right? I'm stuck. I mean, on a rock. With a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but... Given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Yeah, Your where pond. am I? There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. People don't have, like, much else to do but steal things and stuff, do they? Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. Oh, I didn't even think about that. No damn name. That sign would look great in a den, or... You know, anywhere. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, but I can't get across as a broken bridge. I can't get over there. Bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I mean there's some high ground right there. I guess I can use that. It seems very inviting to jump across a giant freaking 
Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm here. I'm kind of worried that something's gonna like jump out at me and like try to attack me. Oh my goodness. You ever talk to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Oh. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Okay. He, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever. <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone hmm. a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Uh, it's a type of knot. Well, it's a knot that you are probably <laughs> too old and too stubborn to learn. Yeah. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know okay. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Why is there, there a... bear traps out here in the scout shelters? Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yeah, why would you have a bear trap out here? I don't... I mean, we can... Why do I still have my flashlight on? Can I stomp this out? Is it gonna let me stomp it out? I don't know. Alright, well, let's go over here then. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. There's an axe. Uh, an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. Yeah. For both getting through the back country and <laughs> getting through that fence. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And well, I already touched it. That's lovely. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Uh, so this is to them. Squad boss cars the next few days, you and team will be dropping into the Thorfinn region of Shoshan National Forest to cut a fire line south of the river. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapatiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office wanted to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most pertinent preventive measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got the insurance company to answer to. Oh, so this is like... Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti. Wapiti Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. The <laughs> research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they yeah, researching? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Us. They're researching us. You... You think they're studying you and me? I do. Yeah, I mean... Maybe it's about... Studying two strangers... Yeah, we'll just start clearing them. trails while we're here. If you put someone in isolation with someone else... What they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Uh... So I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. What's the point of clearing this if I can't get over to... To that? Where am I supposed to go from here? <laughs> Is there a way for me to jump across this ravine? Because it all looks pretty, um... Oh, I can cut this tree down and walk across it, I see. Well, at least we have an axe now to help us. Help us have a tool to help us on our expenditures, you know. Timber, there it goes. Alright, let's hop over this. Okay, we're back over here. Um, now where is here, exactly? Oh, we're gonna take this way back, okay. We're gonna head up to the... I, I had a thought. Oh. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just... On my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. Alright, so, uh, 
Tell me what you think of this. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh... There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line. I thought that was, like, something she was trying to no. say. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh, that's just it. Day 77. Okay. This is getting really freaky here. Somebody's listening to our conversations. Um. Somebody's tapped into the radio frequency. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Um... Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. What is Are going you on? Serious? Let's Hey, there's our turtle friend. Okay. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, I feel like she's... species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Examine floor poster. It's right there. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um... She's trying to do it in code. ...in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Okay. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize? I already know. I don't know why I did that. Top row, second row. <laughs> All right. Get to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Okay, so where is that? Oh, back down here from... Okay. Well, guys, we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you all for watching. Next time, we will continue here and head on down to uh, Copperwood Creek and figure out what exactly is going on here. We discovered the research facility today um, that we're being followed. We had a cough on the radio. Um, so somebody clearly stepped into the radio. So now the lot la is speaking in code. Um, maybe she left something for us all the way from her tower. Um, and now she's trying to help us figure out who this is. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, guys, have a great day. And I will see you all on the next episode.